All right, I was kind of upset today, but you know what? Hashem is in control. You gotta learn how to roll with the punches. I wanted very much today to shluck a paris. I'll tell you why, because usually the past few years I've been doing Erev, Erev Yom Kippur. This year I have to work Erev Yom Kippur, and I have to work early to be in the Bronx by 10.30. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to go shluck a paris where I usually go, in, uh, in, near me, the 20 minute drive from my house, I probably could do it. I probably could make it. I don't know, you know, I, that's probably what's gonna happen in the end. I really don't know. Um, but I thought, you know, you know, my wife said, so no, you go in Muncie, you slug Kapar, you go somewhere else. So, like, near me, there's somewhere else to slug and Kapar's tomorrow. You had to see Stel, you had to buy tickets ahead of time. I tried to buy tickets, I couldn't find, everywhere was closed when I went. Uh, Erev Yantiv, and then uh, Sunday, I, I didn't feel like schlepping out there. I could have made a call, but I don't know if I'm going to make it back in time tomorrow. I don't know what to, you know, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. So then I said, I remember when I was a kid in Queens, you could go any time of the day, any day of the week, the whole of Cersei made sure you find somewhere Right on the street, Shlokaporis, the same thing in Shalayim. But I'm saying, Queens, Queens, you know, it's a modern place. So I figured Muncie for sure is going to be. So I tried calling around. I tried. I remember it used to be at Evergreen. I call Evergreen, they said they're not doing it this year. Call Rockland Kosher. I call Rockland Kosher. They hang up the phone on me. They probably think I'm from PETA or from the anti Semites at the, who are self hating Jews, probably most of them, at the. Uh, at the health department who, who want to shut down this Minig Yisrael Torah and they, and they don't care about the First Amendment they don't I mean this is what I mean when I say the Hasidic community are the canary in the coal mine of religious freedom in America the, the leftists who want to destroy religious freedom and over regulate and everything they want to do that in order really to shut down Christianity too but they're testing the waters with the Hasidic Jews because they're we're so unpopular so, but once they set the precedent, it's going to be for the churches as well. So really, whatever is for the Jews is really, it's, it, it goes for everybody. And whatever is, you know, trampling on freedom of religion for us is really for everybody. And, and that's why the secular Jews are behind this, because they really, they want to destroy both Christianity and Judaism. And that's what's really going on. So anyway, I tried calling Rockland Kosher, they won't pick up. They, they pick up, they, they transfer me to another line, I call again, they don't pick up. So I figure, you know what, I have an hour and a half lunch break, I'm going to go look, I'm going to go to Rock and Kosher, look, no, there's nothing there, I drive around, see is there anyone else, no. Finally I see a sign, Kaporis, I go there, nobody there, nothing there, not even, you know, in Baltimore, I remember they would just leave the chickens there, you go, you slug Kaporis, you put it back in the cage, and, uh, and it's in tight, and, and, uh, but nope, nothing. So then uh, I go home. I'm, tr I'm trying to get back to work for my, you know, want to get back in time, you know. And Chesidah uh, Shabacher knocks on my window. He needs a ride. He's uh, going left. The guy's links. The guy's rechts. I don't know where I'm going. I'm looking to, to Shlok Aparis. I don't want to. So I, you know, and then he needs a ride. He's going to the right. And then he needs a ride. And then he needs a ride. And he shows, I, I could tell then he was, he shows me, he has his, his he's an Israeli kid, Hasidic kid, doesn't speak English, he tried to figure out where he's going, he says he's going, it's on 59, it's at 59 such and such lane, I'm not going to mention where it was, so then I thought, oh my goodness, this this could be somewhere the other side of Muncie, I don't know, they said no, it's on 59, I said no, 59 is the number of the house, of the building, not 59 is the road, so I put into GPS, it turns out it's right there, Baruch Hashem, and now I went, came back to Orangeburg, go back to work. I know I'm not going to be able to schluck a parse here, um, but uh, I, you know, I don't know what to do. I could try tomorrow in this other place where you need to get tickets. Maybe there'll be extra. Who knows? We'll see what goes on tomorrow. Maybe I'll try in Monroe. I think I'll also have to get tickets. I don't know exactly how it works there. I don't know where the base of is. I, you know, usually the Ravi goes to the, the local base of where I live, but. Um, 
but I, 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 you know, I don't have time to go with him. I work all day. I don't have time for this stuff. So it is what it is, you know. But at least, you know what I said. Oh, Hashem, I want Machshavat Teva Kadosh Baruch Hu Mastarf Lamais, and he was a real Maisa because, you know, what's uh, Kaparis is Dark Yemari, but Dark Yemari is Mutter Lerfua, but uh, but Tatina Chesed for a Yid to go give a Yid a ride somewhere uh, he needs to go, a stranger with another Yid. This this is uh, for sure a mitzvah. It's a bit much bigger than Kaparis, even with Kisir Dam, which is also a mitzvah the Raisa. That's the big thing that I like to accomplish. Uh, you know, the old Bialer Rebbe. I'm not a Bialer Chassid, but I, people accuse me of that. But I, I'm, uh, but I'm very close with the, the Admorim from Biala, A few of them, at least three of them, I'm close with. And um, and, uh, and and the old Bialer Rebbe used to go to the Shlacht House all the time just to be Mekayim Mitzvah Kisi Adam, just because it's a Mitzvah Mitzvah Deraisa. So the Zelbazach, this is something I look forward to, but it is what it is. It's not always so easy. Okay. So Paul skits. Um maybe alright, hopefully I'll find a chicken somewhere. Be able to schluck a porous. Um and if not, uh, you know, We'll sign a kapara. <laughs> we'll do with money. We'll do it. We do what you gotta do. It is what it is. Bornishlam fear developed. Maybe today in Monroe I'll, I'll be able to do it. I don't know. I don't think they're doing it today in Monroe. But, um. Ruch Hashem. I'm back at work. 15 minutes, more than 15 minutes to spare. Uh, I don't need to dive in München now. Because we're gonna have Minion at Shul tonight, the Rav has yard site for Schwiger. Um, anybody could make it tonight. White Lake, even if we have 10 already, it's nice to have more. I don't have what to talk about in my group today. So, Baruch Hashem is what it is. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And the lesson I learned, you know, to have to have, have a Muna in the, in the Beshefer. We're in Shlomfir de Welt. Baruch Hashem. All right, please like, share, and subscribe, comment. And I probably offended everybody, which is good. So, um, thank you for watching. <laughs> and uh, if I offended you, please be Michael, I guess. You know, I guess that's what I'm supposed to say, because it's for Yom Kippur, right? If it's for a valid reason. All right. <laughs> and like I always say on my Twitter page, if, if something I say offends you, assume that it's satire or hyperbole. All right, thank you for watching, God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment, and whatever else you wanna do. Even the nasty comments means you're watching. If I get enough of those, you know, I'll be in them, I'll be, you know, maybe the Bernie Shalom, the Eingeschrieben, and so sein größer Mensch for YouTube, there you will. Machen sach Geld. Auf den für Yiddishkeit, Buch Hashem. The main point I made, someone's going to say, Yitzchak Kolokowski, why are you making this stupid video? And the answer is to teach to have a Muna. Even I wanted to do something and I was upset and I was angry. The Bernishalem feared the Velt and the Bernishalem gave me that I can uh, do this. Right? Alright, thank you for watching. All the best. Be well.